Sports, we now introduce you to another 8 Who Care Award winner. Yeah, these are the best stories because mm. these are people that are in our communities. They're being recognized for their extraordinary community service. And tonight, you're going to meet a woman from Lancaster who's making a difference for families dealing with loss. So this conference is to bring more awareness, promote more awareness. Dr. Serena Wu is on a mission to educate health care workers on how to handle infant loss. It's just not a topic that people are comfortable talking about. The last thing we, get, we all met. And she volunteers her time with Share of Lancaster, just be front and center. a nonprofit that offers support to anyone who experiences the death of a baby. I think it offers them knowledge that they're not alone. To speak out loud the name or names of your child or children. Let us pray. The unique thing about SHARE is we offer the no-cost burials, and that happens every other month. This is absolutely free, no charge, and that's why we're here today. Chip so. Snyder of Snyder Funeral Home has been offering SHARE burials for 41 years. We've learned how precious life is. We have buried around 11,500 babies. You are living on. Today, 22 children are being laid to rest at St. Joseph New Catholic Cemetery. But if anyone wants to lay a carnation or a bouquet of flowers, just put them right here right now. To say I'm sorry, I feel like it's, it's not, sometimes it's not good enough. Budded on earth to bloom in heaven. Serena knows what these families go through. I uh, lost my third. So actually I have four boys. Um, our third was um, another little boy. Serena and her husband Rob lost their son Jameson during her last few weeks of pregnancy. The hospital dropped a book off at us and said, pick, you know, pick the funeral home. That's when she knew she wanted to help others. Through Share of Lancaster, families come together with events like Walk to Remember and fundraisers designed to not only raise awareness, but to let others know they're not alone. Nobody wants to be part of this group. Uh, nobody sets out to be a part of this group, but somehow, some way, they found their way to us. So what can we do to help? Many of Cher's volunteers experienced loss, like Deborah Suloff Herb, whose son Christian died just two days before he was supposed to be born. We did not see him or get to hold him, which was what we really Wanted. Is the paper being specific? Kathy Kuhn said things were starting to change by the time she had her daughter, Mary Alice, who was stillborn. I delivered at Hershey Medical Center, and it was 1980, and I got to see and hold the baby. And that was brand new back then. It validates the parents that they were parents. Treasure these moments. Thanks to the work of Sheriff Lancaster, parents are given more options on how they wish to grieve their little ones who never got the chance to grow up. I've learned that everybody's journey is very different, but what we can learn from each other is what I think Sheriff gives. You know, it's a sensitive topic, but one that needs yeah. to be talked about, you know, because yeah. so many families go through this. But Sheriff Lanker, sir, they've been educating, supporting, and offering those services to families for, as you saw in the story, about over 40 years, 41 years. So if you want to learn more, I have a link to that on my Facebook page. Yeah, the thing that touched me about that is that one of the, the folks you interviewed said, yeah. you know, no one wants to be a part of this group. No one seeks to they be don't. a part of this yeah. group. But once this happens, giving someone options of how to handle it, I think, is really important. The support's so important. The education yeah. in the healthcare community as well. And they've come a long way. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, thank you for bringing us that story. Oh, yeah, you bet, Michael. Really?